Everyone, when you think about it, has a story. Yet some stories seem more riveting than others. That's to be expected. Who here has been to the North Pole? 250 people raised That's their hand. Incredible. Who's been to the South Pole? 200. Who's been to the top of Everest? About, I don't know, 25, 26, 27 people raised their hand, including a Sherpa woman who had climbed it nine times more than any other person on Earth, who's been to the Marianas Trench. And less than half the people have, that have walked on the moon have been down there, I think four. And then I said, let's take this a little further. Who's been to outer space? And I had, I don't know, 30, 40 people raise their hands, and including Kathy Sullivan, the first American woman to walk in space. Then I said, let's take it out to the moon. Who here's been to the moon? I have six people raise their hand. And then I brought up the last, who's sent a spacecraft out of our solar system? And of course, Alan Stern raised his hand. The ones that I think were the toughest were the guys that were setting sail across the ocean, not knowing what they were going to experience. The Vikings, the guys like Magellan, these guys that, that risked it all. They were risking not only their lives, the lives of their crew, all in the name of discovery. And I think that the DNA of an explorer is curiosity. And these are people who look at a map and they go, wow. I first saw a cheetah and I looked at it in the eyes at this wildlife park. And I swear that this animal probably just brought me into its life and um, said, you're gonna work for me for the rest of your life, which is what I have done. There are no boundaries between countries, that we're all in this together. Despite what we may think when we're living on Earth, we're in fact all in this together. And we recognize that the human species is a spacefaring species that will go farther into space and stay longer.